The driver Ezekiel Elliott hit with his SUV in Frisco last year is now suing the Cowboys running back. Police had said the BMW driver was not hurt, but now that driver and his lawyer claim the injuries were serious and life-altering. Contrary to some of the initial characterizations that made this sound like it was just a little fender bender, it was not. A Fort Worth gymnastics coach arrested for child sex crimes. The gym where he worked is a member of USA Gymnastics, and the allegations are similar to the organization's massive sex abuse scandal. The parents of a toddler are thankful for the Plano police officer who saved their daughter when the girl was choking on something. Held her face down and just started delivering palm strikes to her back. Every time I see her, I'm like, you know, just so thankful to see my daughter again. Here for you, first at 9, Fox 4 News starts now. A North Texas man is suing Ezekiel Elliott over a car crash last year. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Frisco police said the January 2017 crash involving the Cowboys running back was minor, a minor crash, and that there were no injuries. But there's nothing minor about the other driver's sudden lawsuit claiming serious, permanent injuries and demanding a million dollars in damages. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen is at the Star in Frisco tonight with the story. Blake. Heather and Steve, that crash happened just about a mile from here as Zeke was headed to the star. And tonight, attorneys on both sides of this case are pretty much saying the same thing, that although Ezekiel Elliott is named in this lawsuit, it's really because of Texas law, and Zeke is not apparently going to be the target or the focus of this case. It was a crash that made headlines because it involved Ezekiel Elliott. Around 7 a.m. January 11, 2017, at the corner of Gaylord Parkway and Dallas North Tollway, Elliott's SUV collided with another car. Elliott's GMC Yukon seen here on the right after the collision with the other driver's BMW 750. TMZ photos show Elliott standing by at the scene. At the time, he brushed it off as no big deal. I'm fine. I'm healthy. I'm good. It's like nothing happened. Now, the other driver, Ronnie Hill, has filed a lawsuit against Elliott seeking $1 million in damages. It is not an easy thing to sue a hometown hero like Zeke Elliott. Quinton Brogdon represents Hill in the suit. In Texas, the law requires a person suing to name the other driver, not the insurer. Brogdon declined to talk with us about the insurer in this case, but says although they've named Elliott in the suit, that's not who they are going after. Our fight is not with Zeke Elliott personally, and our fight is not certainly with the Dallas Cowboys. Elliott's attorney echoed that, saying in a statement, a claimant cannot file directly against the insurance company, but must first name the individual insured, Elliott, in order to trigger the insurance coverage. That is exactly what occurred here. We expect Mr. Elliott's insurance provider to step in accordingly and handle the matter appropriately. The new lawsuit is also raising questions about just how serious the accident was. It seeks a million dollars in damages and also says Hill has sustained life-altering injuries from the crash. At the time it happened, Frisco police told Fox 4, there were no injuries sustained as a result of the minor crash. What would you say to people that, that look at it and see, you know, initial reports of no injuries and now claims that there are life-altering injuries? We are fully prepared to let a Collin County jury hear all the facts in this case, and we believe that after that's done, that jury is going to understand and believe and will meet our burden of proof to show that Ronnie Hill has sustained, as I've said, serious and life-altering injuries. Elliott was not cited in that crash. This lawsuit was filed this afternoon in Collin County. And as for that million dollar figure, while well, Hill's attorney says that they're required to state a specific dollar amount in the lawsuit. However, they have asked that a jury would actually determine that damages amount. Heather. All right, Blake, appreciate your coverage. Thank you. So meantime, Ezekiel Elliott is at training camp in California, but there's no comment so far from him. He has not been available to the media since the lawsuit news broke.